Dynamic South Africa. My name is Patrick Dowling and this is Dynamic Discussions. With lockdown happening at the moment, we are not able to travel to Europe. So we are bringing Europe to you. Joining me today, we have David from Terasaki. David, welcome and thank you so much for joining us. David is one of our industry leading professionals. David, give us a bit of background on Terasaki. Who is Terasaki? How long have they been running and what can they offer? Uh, Terasaki is an independent, family-owned organization. It was established in 1923 in Osaka in Japan, and we're manufacturers of low-voltage circuit breakers, and we export to around 80 different countries around the world. There are about uh, 2,000 employees globally, yes. and we have an annual turnover of about $420 million. Okay, that's pretty impressive. David, how can a small company like Terasaki compete with some of the bigger organizations that work in the electrical industry? Well, I don't know how other people do it, but uh, how Terasaki do it is, well, rather than offering the enormous range of electrical products that, uh, you know, our huge competitors offer, we specialize in one area. We specialize in low voltage circuit breakers. And by concentrating our efforts on that part of uh, circuit protection, we have become experts in that field. So our product range includes air circuit breakers in three frame sizes, ratings from 800 amps to 6,300 amps, with braking capacities of up to 120 kA. We have a very wide range of molded case circuit breakers from 16 amps to 4,000 amps. Yes. Um, electronic types, thermomagnetic, um, and with braking capacities up to 200 kA. And we also have a full range of modular circuit breakers, RCCBs and RCBOs, as you would expect. But within these ranges, we, we also have many specialized areas. For example, we have uh, 1100 volt AC mining breakers. We have MCCBs with integrated earth leakage protection we call CBRs, and also because we have such a wide range of thermomagnetic MCCBs, then we can also offer a special range of DC circuit breakers that can protect up to 1000 volts DC, and that's very useful for the photovoltaic or a solar market. And speaking of that, we've also developed 800 volt AC breakers for that market. Those are pretty big claims. David, do you have any evidence to back up the theory that you are experts in the field of low voltage protection? Well, the first thing that springs to mind is that Terasaki was the first manufacturer to develop the current limiting circuit breaker. So if we were to go back to the early 60s and before, uh, when you were protecting a circuit that had a, a high braking capacity, the circuit breaker had to be backed up with a fuse because they couldn't achieve the braking capacity that was required. Uh, but Terasaki developed the current limiting circuit breaker, and that's a breaker that breaks the circuit so quickly that the fault current is cleared before it can reach the peak value in the curve. And that allowed the protection of circuits with much higher braking capacities. And uh, actually for a while, Terasaki was known as the no-fuse circuit breaker company. Wow, that's pretty impressive, David. Are there any other ways in which your product offers something that is the same, if not better, than those of your competitors out there? Well, Terasaki is the market leader in supplying low-voltage circuit breaker to new build ships. So the breakers are designed for the marine market and which, like mining, is a much, much more onerous environment for them to operate in compared to the industrial market. So because of this, our breakers offer superb performance and a very high quality when compared to circuit breakers that are specifically designed for the standard industrial market. And on top of that, Terasaki circuit breakers have to meet the Japanese industrial standard, or GIS standard, as well as the IEC standard. 
The Japanese industrial standard will only allow breakers to have a temperature rise of 60 degrees centigrade. The IEC standard allows 70 degrees. So that gives our breakers a 15% temperature advantage over breakers that are only designed to the IEC standard. Now, that is a huge advantage in our industry. Our standard breakers will offer operate in a 50 degree ambient temperature without any derating. Why it's so important is because overheating is the most common cause of failure in electrical switchgear. So if you can reduce the likelihood of overheating by using switchgear with a superior temperature performance, then uh, you're going to be in a, in a good place. I heard you talk about retrofit market earlier, David. What is that? Well, advanced markets like South Africa, UK, Europe, markets that have been industrialized for a long time. They've got a great deal of electrical systems that were built in the 1970s, 1980s, 90s, and even before that, but they are still in operation. So these old systems have got to be modernized. But the downtime to replace a switchboard is sometimes too costly and time consuming. Sometimes to get an old switchboard out and a new one in can be very problematic. Yeah. But, but, but at the same time, the life of the electrical system does need to be extended. It's likely to need modernization. It may need some automation involving the addition of communication capability. It could also need to be updated from a health and safety point of view. There are much stricter regulations concerning arc, arc flash hazard now compared to what was in place a decade or so ago. Modern air circuit breakers clear short circuits much faster than the old types, which means that incident arc energy is correspondingly lower. Also, modern circuit breakers offer safer interlocks, remote switching, circuit monitoring. And then another really good reason why you need modernization might be because the spare parts are no longer available, so you can't maintain the old switch gear. All these reasons are very important because old badly maintained ACBs are the cause of almost 20% of power distribution failures. And the statistics will tell you that 50% of accidents in the electrical industry are caused by incorrectly maintained or old switch gear. Sure. Now, this can all be taken off nowadays with the installation of a retrofit ACB. The static components in the switchboard, the steel work, the buzz bar system, can usually be retained because they're, because they're static, they don't usually suffer much damage from short circuit faults and download switching. But the functional moving parts, that is the circuit breakers, they do need to be replaced because they are the elements of the system which do all the hard work. They sustain the damage of fault breaking and switching, therefore they are the crucial parts that need to be replaced. And retrofitting would be typically 50% cheaper than switchboard replacement and with minimum downtime. So it's an easy sell for the maintenance engineer. But David, don't other companies offer this as well? And why should they choose Terasaki circuit breakers for their retrofit jobs? Well, Terasaki's ARACB air circuit breaker is the smallest air circuit breaker in the world in terms of depth, while at the same time still having a superb performance and crucially with a one second short time withstand equal to the braking capacity of the ACB. The depth of the breaker is particularly important for retrofitting because the idea is to fit a modern new ACB into the same space in the switchboard that was occupied by the older obsolete breaker, but still leaving enough room for all the new copper work interface. And this is the crucial bit, the new copper work interface that's required to connect the new breaker to the same connecting point on the original buzz bars without any cutting or drilling of the buzz bars. And that's necessary if you aim to maintain the integrity of the existing buzz bars in the original switchboard, which we always do. So how do you get such high performance out of an ACB that is obviously and without a doubt one of the smallest in the market? 
Well, one of the one of the things that we do, one of the features that is unique to the ARACB is its double braking main contact system. It breaks the circuit at two points in the circuit within the circuit breaker. This ensures an extremely fast interruption of short circuit currents. A conventional ACB might clear the fault in 70 milliseconds, but Terasaki's ACB does it in 25 to 30 milliseconds. That gives several advantages. The incident arc energy is cut by half. The performance is enhanced. enhanced beg your pardon. There's less wear and tear in the contacts, and so the endurance of the ACB is extended. And how about the future, David? Can Terasaki maintain its place in the market when it comes to low voltage circuit breakers? Well, Terasaki has recently spent $40 million modernizing new buildings in Osaka and $48 million in new product development. So, yeah, I think we can. Now, that's pretty impressive. David, I'd like to take this opportunity in thanking you for joining me today on Dynamic Discussions. Think electrical, think ACDC.